Hi everybody, my name is Anthony. I'm the AI teacher here at the Royal College of GPs. Welcome back to GP Ready, our programme of activity aimed at new first five members as you take those all important next steps in your GP careers. This is one of four videos talking about coaching and we're going to be joined for these by Dr Amrita Sen Mukherjee. Amrita is a portfolio GP, she's a first five wellbeing lead and she's a trained coach. In this video Amrita is going to be talking about guilt a powerful emotion that we all experience in our personal and professional lives and some top tips on how to overcome this. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you for another video soon. Now guilt is an emotion that quite a lot of us feel when we're in our personal lives but also our professional lives and what I've been hearing a lot from, the, from my clients, friends and colleagues is when there's this juxtaposition between our professional and our personal lives and we're not able to fulfill either role to the best of our abilities um, or what we perceive to be the best of our abilities and that can lead to this sensation this feeling this discomfort of guilt and i just wanted to break this down and talk to you about that and um you know kind of acknowledge that so many of us feel that so guilt is this kind of anxiety feeling. It's a, essentially a protective mechanism and it's this internal feeling that we might have that stops us from, or hopefully tries, tries to prevent us from feeling this sense of loss. It's this really complex emotion. Um, and you feel it when you feel that you've compromised a sense of your own conduct. Um, and there are two types of emotion that we essentially feel. We have like a primary reaction, which is a reaction to an event and a secondary reaction, which is the emotion that um, occurs as a result of the primary emotion. And that's what guilt is. Guilt is kind of around this primary emotion. So, okay, you might feel disappointed about um, failing an exam, for example, but then you feel guilty about failing the exam because you've put a lot of work in, you've put some financial resource into it. Many people have invested in you. People had hopes that you might pass. You had hopes that you might pass. And so then guilt might manifest. So that's what I mean about a primary and a secondary emotion. And that's why it's very complex because there are so many different systems involved. And so I just wanted to kind of highlight that to acknowledge that actually guilt is something that's inside us um, and actually can take quite a while to understand actually where is that coming from what is it that's driving us to feel that way and why are we feeling it um, and there are so many things that could be causing that our working environments the type of work we're doing um, our family circumstances are we feeling isolated because of our geographical location um, you know the list goes on um, but what is it that's making us feel guilty is really important to kind of acknowledge. And there's a huge body of evidence or body of work that's been done by a well-known psychologist called Kessler. And he really proposed that um, guilt stems from grief. Um, so it's important for us to acknowledge this important emotion, manage it, and then find meaning behind it. Because once we do that, it becomes less scary. It becomes less difficult and it becomes um, less of a problem as well. So considering psychological and social theories, guilt also has evolved from empathy. Um, and we're in these very privileged positions where we are able to help people, we're able to relieve people of their difficulties, of their um, pain. And if we don't do that, if we're unable to do that, we can have this sense of guilt, have this sense of, well, actually, I haven't done my job very well. Um, and I want to try to acknowledge that as well, that actually we need to build in this mechanism of self-compassion and self-love because so much a part of our working lives can be around this emotion that actually isn't part of our own identity and part of our own selves, but because of the system that we're working in. Another emotion is shame. And shame and guilt can be quite confusing. And is it shame that I'm feeling or is it guilt? And shame actually is um, a feeling that we have because of what we're concerned about uh, with regards to what others view of us. 
how do we think others evaluate us? Whereas guilt is more of an internal emotion. How do we view ourselves? And so it's really important to separate these two emotions and understand actually what is it that I'm feeling. Physician guilt can be very different. Doctors feel very differently sometimes because we're social creatures, we're caring and compassionate. Um, not that other people aren't, but you know, we have that in our role, uh, in our vocation. And many of us go into medicine for social and humanistic reasons. And society also places this element of trust in us as doctors. And so there are lots of different things. I, I could go on about this for a very long time. And, but I just wanted to highlight a few salient features or factors as to why this might be an issue and why you might be feeling guilt from time to time. So dealing with it, dealing with guilt, and how do we do that? Well, there are many ways we can do that. And actually, our thoughts can help us. Our emotions can help us. And sometimes the negative thoughts that we're feeling aren't bad. They actually help us because they challenge us. They challenge us. They help us move forward. They help us to understand more about our own selves. So my top tips would be to stop. Acknowledge what you're feeling and embrace it. Reflect it and think to yourself, is there a positive for it? always being kind to yourself, always loving yourself and always treating yourself as if you were your best friend, your sister, your brother, your mother, your father. And don't compare yourself to others. Everybody has their own journey and everybody's path is different. So look after yourself, acknowledge the emotion and give your permission, give yourself, sorry, permission to handle it. Um, if any of you are struggling, please do reach out for support. There are lots of support mechanisms out there, um, PHP, BMA, lots of wellbeing services. Please, you can reach out to me, the RCGP. We're all here to support you in your journey. You are never alone. My name is Amritsen Mukherjee. I am um, your wellbeing doctor, and you can always get in touch. Uh, my handles will be after the video. Thank you so much for listening. Take care.